Hey guys, so today we're gonna cover two patch notes and I wanted to give the 3.0 update just a little bit of a break before going over it after playing for a week and they just released the 3.1 update this morning. So let's dive in over the 3.0 and everyone's diving into this game again. And I think that's just due to this outstanding battle pass plus an outstanding new map. This is probably the best map in the game so far. And I would say, give it a try. Um, it's, it's a blast now. And so they added a new uh, Japanese map from 1568, I wanna say. I'm probably wrong. No, no, right here, 1568 in Keto. So, and I think also, I think if you wanna play it a bunch, it falls under maybe the World Tour maybe. So, if you want to dive played a bunch, I think that's probably the best way to do it or in tournament. Uh, but in casual, it just gets mixed in with the rest of the maps An outstanding map. This map, they, they knocked it out of the ballpark with this map after playing it. And I'll, I'm excited to see what else they bring down the road, but I, they just did a really phenomenal job with this map. Now they did some, a terminal attack stuff with the 3.0 update. They have the new battle pass, some sweet skins. Um, now they've also had some new weapons and some gadgets. The light has a bow. The medium has dual blades. This is, I've not used the dual blades, but I fought against it and it's it's pretty good. Um, they blocked all my shots. And I don't know if they're, I'm assuming there's probably a cooldown with blocking would be my guess, but maybe not. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, I think this medium, uh, melee is way better than the riot shield way better and so dual blade or no spear the spear is pretty hilarious you can actually launch the uh, the cash out with the spear with its alternate and it's it's a it's an interesting change it doesn't do it's like they said do less damage than the sledgehammer but um it, I think it's a pretty nice other mix up with the heavies options. So, and the fact that you can launch the the objective as the heavy with it, I think can come in clutch in late game captures. So cool. And the new tools, I, this is one something I'd kind of talked about previously that a lot of the classes don't have tools that help with destruction. I want to see more destruction. That's I think one of the biggest thing this game kind of sold on was that it's all about interacting with your environment. And I think adding this thermal bore for the light was a good addition. Uh, I think it's, I think if people are probably gonna choose this over the breach charge, um, but it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good add. Uh, I'll be curious to see if they add anything for the medium down the road, but take what we can get for now. The winch claw <laughs> um, is, really good it is it has its uk use cases definitely i think it works great for a heavy who's running melee so if you're running the sledge and or the spear this works great you know you can't have a medium or light run away from you or backing up while you're running towards them just pull them towards you so this this works great and i would recommend it for sure if you're running melee and it also works if you, let's say you are on the third floor of a building and someone's capturing the objective below, launch that puppy down and you'll actually lift up the cash out box with it. So you can use it for both enemies, the cash out and uh, pick up your teammates um, down player. Then they've added the circuit back again the and they've added some new career skins as well they've also made some balance changes now they i'll get into the balance changes again for the 3.1 update since a lot of people were frustrated i think it was just people didn't use this previous gun but looks like they did some stuff for the light and does not apply to terminal attack so the light regenerates health a little faster and some notes about the, the regeneration of up to 100 HP. 
and decrease the health generation from 10 to 9 seconds. The healing beam has been replaced with a guardian turret as a default medium specialization. Okay, that's fine. And the defibrillator has also been replaced with glitch trap as one of the default medium gadgets. That's kind of interesting. I think the defibrillator should have stayed as a default. I, I already have all my classes specced out, but uh, I guess for new new players, this is what they're running into or will be using. I still think the defibrillator should be the default. This is great for the medium class and should always be carried f with one of the mediums. Now the goo gun will now block movement, especially such as evasive dash, except charge and slam. Okay, cool. And then I don't know why the 3.0 update, I guess, I think they had, I think the day, the day before this, before this patch went out, they did kind of a a day, day one preview or one day before preview. And so I think this is why they have some of this stuff already for like the winch claw, which is new. Um, I think 20 meters would have been fine. I don't know why they dropped down to 17 and then. Okay, and then if you missed a target, they, they drop the, no, they increase the cooldown, okay? And then increase the cooldown hitting carryables or, oh, so teammate uh, statues, six, seven, increase cooldown when hitting players. Oh, so if you actually hit a player, it's double um, the cooldown, so, okay. At that cooldown's actually pretty quick comparatively to a lot of the other abilities cooldowns. And then the breach charge, They've increased that for the light. So it used to just be one, now it's two. I think it's a nice add. And increase the cooldown from 15 to 26 since there's two now. Okay, decrease player's damage from 200 to 80. Okay, and then increased ammo count from one to two. Increased cooldown from 15 to 26. Okay, I think that's a gadget. And then increase the radius for gas. They did a rework for this one. Uh, no longer, so the glitch trap I think is carried, I think only by the heavy. I don't think this is the glitch grenade. And so the glitch trap now in line of sight of activations, if an enemy player stands within range and in line of sight to trap, it will attach a tether to them. Tether player will have the glitch effect applied to them, preventing them from using specializations. Interesting. So line of sight effects. That's interesting. So that's that's kind of interesting for the glitch trap. I'll see. I've not seen anyone use this yet, but I wonder if that also. Yeah, hmm, that's interesting. I'll see. Goo grenade. They increase the goo size and also getting hit by goo will block some stuff. And then the guardian tour, the cooldown regeneration, of the guardian tour will now start when the turn is destroyed, not when it's deployed. Oh, oh, that's, that changes the guardian turret a bunch. Huh. I would recommend, I've, I've done this quite a bit with it where uh, if it gets down to like less than half, I'll actually re-pick it back up and redeploy it so that its health gets refilled. And I think that'll come into play even more now since the cooldown only starts when when it's destroyed. So allowing them to trigger the cooldown if their turret is not nearby. This is done by equipping the specialization again and holding the interaction and brief duration. Okay, so this allows to remotely destroy it because the cooldown before. So cool. A little bit of a rework motion sense. Uh, this is, I think, for the light. Motion sense now has a line of sight application. If an enemy player stands within range, the device, the sensor will attach a tether to them. Tether players will scan. They're doing a lot of tethered stuff now. So that's kind of interesting. And then I'm cool with this, adding more smoke grenades. I actually like smoke grenades, so I think that's a good add. Make three. They're not OP in any way, but um, I don't think they get widely used since there's other better gadgets, I think. And then increase the duration radius. Cool, stun gun. 
Okay, cool. And then the 93R. This was, I think, the little light pistol. Not a huge fan of it. Uh, made some changes. Eh. CL40. They decrease the damage, decrease the rate. And decrease the pump action duration. Decreased it. Decreased self-damage multiplier. Okay. So for the medium, they lowered some of the damage to it. Interesting. Um, I know it got picked up. It's been picked up quite a bit recently, but I don't think this does anything massive to it, but just kind of does some light tweaks to it to keep it from, I guess, taking over. But I mean, if you look at a lot of the current streams, it's uh, a lot of people prefer the, I think the SCAR and AKM still. FAMAS, some FAMAS changes. They increase some damage to this. I don't, I did a breakdown of this. I don't think this is going to make a huge change overall. And they made it looks like a little easier to control. It already was pretty easy to control. So the KS-23, I think this is the heavy shotgun. Just some pump action stuff. Lewis, update the recoil pattern. I really like the Lewis gun. And they decrease the damage. So I'm, that's kind of interesting. Um, I was hoping maybe they do something. Maybe they'll do something with the other LMG. But I really like the Lewis gun for the heavy. The LH1 is a sleeper gun. Uh, they did make another change to the 3.1 update, but it's it. Like I said, I, I think this is my the first gun I reviewed, and it's outstanding for the light. I mean, long range, close range has a really nice fire rate and it's i think a lot of people don't like it since it bounces it's it visually has a lot of bouncing to it but it's recoil pattern is straight up and just pull down some and i mean i love this gun highly recommend it for the light uh so the m60 i think this is the other heavy gun so Okay, they changed the recoil this one and lowered it. it's damaged so they both uh, the m60 has a larger mag than the lewis gun but the sh 1900 so increased increase the size of the pellet desperation making the weapon less accurate at range heavies without making it oppressive for lights with higher pellets so this is one of the heavy shotguns I've seen people using this a little bit more than they used to, so I think this must have been a a good change overall. I'm not a huge fan of the heavies shotgun, but that's just my opinion of it. And then some animations for the heavy. I guess there must have been people having some issues with this, but I didn't have any issues. The throwing knives, hate the throwing knives, not a fan of them. I, I get why people like them, but I think getting used to all the other guns and then you get into the using the throwing knives and trying to do lead throws with this not a fan of it and even trying to dive in with its alternate i think people are starting to use them smidge more this season due to some of the skins that are getting added for it but not a fan of them the vs and increase the damage glitch barrel goo barrel oh I think they should have kept this a two by six instead of two by four, but I guess they're wanting people to, if you want goo, use the goo grenade. And then toxic barrels. Yeah, so they're targeting that these are smaller versus the actual grenades. It's nice. That's an interesting change. I don't think that should be the case. That's just my opinion. But since like these carryables are not always around and they don't respawn. So I don't think there's a reason to make these weaker than said grenades. Some terminal attack stuff. Oh, so it cannot be thrown into the terminal. Cool. But they allowed it to be thrown farther. It did not have a throw, far throw distance. I remember chucking that thing and it like just fell on my feet. So. And then some other just general changes. They've updated some spawn stuff. OK, 
Okay, and then spawn, more spawn stuff. I think I've not really seen too many major spawn changes when they talk about spawn stuff. They're saying spawn scenarios, but I'm not, I'm assuming that's just farther in terminal attack. Maybe, I'm not. And then, it's just some bugs. Audio reworked will now be more responsive in various events in the area. Cool, love that. If you're working on audio, make the game even better. Everyone, a lot of people care about audio. The new 10 ranks, it's like military gear. I'll dive into that. Okay, fire spreading infinitely, cool. I know if you get anything near fire, all your goo just disappears. And then the new map, freaking love it. A new volume slider setting, changing the commentary dialogue. Who would do that? I love, I love, who doesn't like hearing those commentators? And then this was an outstanding change. They started introducing this last season. Everything's a la carte now, which is great. It allows you to pick items that you want to customize your character without buying a whole package. Love it. Uh, some UI stuff. And then see here added. Okay, so this is where they talked about the weapon specifically added in season three. And then update several equipment HUD icons. So they just updated the icons, but these are the weapons and gadgets. So every class got something. Uh, the heavy got devil, but, um, and the light got two things. The medium only got one. So light, me light and heavy both got two items in some fashion. The medium got one. Like I said, I think the medium still needs something to be destructive, but that's just my thoughts. And aimbot detection. Cool. Okay, let's dive into 3.1. And I said, this 3.0, I wanted to give it a week and play around with it. And it's it's an outstanding update. And I think a lot of people now diving into more of everything uh, kind of reared its head in this 3.1 update this morning. Um, and they had some new skins and I'll watch that video with you guys, but looks like they made a, that change. And then they decreased the damage, like I said, to the LH1. Like I said, this was a sleeper gun. I think when they increase this to 52, people hopped on this really quick since that's a three shot light. I mean, the LH1 is is an outstanding gun. I think this was I think that was kind of much too much to the LH1. They, they buffed it pretty hard in the 3.0 update. So I think that drop it down a little bit, I think was good. I don't think this is necessarily need to be a change. I don't see too many people use the throwing knives. Like I said, they have zero range. It's all up close in the lead. If you're diving back and forth, like you're gonna destroy anyone throwing knives. So the winch claw, I'm kind of surprised they they made changes to this. This like, since it did 15 damage to five, I'm not, maybe there were issues with it blowing up things maybe. Um, so I indifferent towards that. And then some bug fixes and then some unranked terminal attack. It's pretty sweet skin, I will say. Um, but yeah, those, those are my overall thoughts. And it's kind of my, you know, let, let's dive into the game a little bit. So diving in to the finals. So like I said, the battle pass was pretty, pretty sweet later on. Uh, tempura skin, cat skins, and then the sweet wanderer skin. Good luck seeing out of this thing. Kind of reminds me of Dark Souls a smidge. Uh, and then uh, I saw wood bow. I instantly think of Power Rangers with this. <laughs> I think that's kind of what they went with, but without saying it. Cool skins overall again. And then you get your anime skin. <laughs> it's bound to happen, right? And then let's see here. Level 96, the final samurai. I mean, that is a pretty lit skin. And then the last one of the, I think near the last, get tetherless. And then level 106, you get the Black Power Ranger helmet. I'm assuming they'll probably add something halfway through like they did last time. Uh, I could be wrong, but 
I wouldn't be surprised if they add some more. People are already like halfway through the battle pass last time I played. And so, but they got some nice, cool, purchasable skins. This one was the add-in 3.1 update. This was a cool kind of retro uh, future Tokyo kind of skin, I, I felt like. Kind of gave me cyberpunk vibes. Equipment. So this is the bow. Does a decent amount of damage. I don't know what the lead time is on this. It looks like it's pretty decent with, from what I could tell, uh, when I've dealt fighting other people using it. So here is the thermal bore. This is the medium's swords. And then for the heavy, we got the spia. And then we also got his new ability, the claw, which is just a little icon. But I think they can probably do some cool stuff with skins with this one down the road, I think. Um, but I don't. I think they'll have to also do some animation stuff too. But overall, great update. And I would recommend hopping in, playing. The player base is coming back hardcore. It'll probably die down again in a couple weeks when people slurp up all that battle pass stuff. But get out there. Look forward to see you guys. Have a fun time. Catch you On next time. Of our sponsors, thanks for tuning in. And that's a wrap.